Hello Wolfpack, welcome back to another Bitcoin video today. We're going to be looking at a few things and things that we haven't actually looked at before. For example, and we'll just get straight into it now, uh, the 3-day the RSI and the trend line on the 3-day RSI that's been very, very important for Bitcoin in the past. We're going to look at that in a second. First and foremost, actually, we'll look at the macro uptrending line, which is very interesting because we've lost for our macro uptrending line, right? The macro uptrending line has been lost on Bitcoin. It is a line stemming backwards from 2011, tested in 2015, tested in 2020, tested again this year. And we've actually come down, we've closed a weekly candle below it. We know this already. But the most interesting thing about this, let me get a few lines up here. The most interesting thing about this is not only are we closing a weekly candle below, not only have we done that, we've actually come back up on this current weekly candle. We've retested it from the bottom side and we've rejected at this point in time. Now, whether that rejection will last or not is a separate question, but the point of the matter is this. We are currently resistance support flipping the 12-year macro uptrending line, 11-year macro uptrending line, whatever it is, right? Which is bad, right? And unless we get above it, very soon, right, within the weekly candle, unless we get above it, say, within the next four days, five days, as the weekly candle suggests here, that's confirmation we're going to be heading downwards for Bitcoin for sure, right? A resistance support flip is a very typical thing you see after a breakdown, specifically from a big line. That's what we're seeing right now. We're seeing a resistance support flip. Now, the thing about this is that that makes it kind of interesting is the shorter time frame, right? This is the four hourly chart on Bitcoin. Before we look at that, let's look at a daily chart. Daily chart's are quite simple. Uh, bear flag formation broke to the downside. We had a micro bear flag that I'm drawing up here within the bear flag formation. If we take a measured move from the larger bear flag and apply it to the breakout zone, right? And apply it from a conservative target to the breakout zone, we're seeing we're targeting 11K there, right? 11K as per the macro uptrend line chart is actually our major support zone on Bitcoin, this green box. And if we take a target from the micro bear flag, keep up here, I'll, I'll explain this all in a second. If we take a target from the micro bear flag from the top to the bottom, uh, and apply it conservatively from a breakdown, we can see that's targeting 17.5K. So to summarize that, because I know some people would have got lost there, to summarize what I just said, essentially, we have two separate bear flags on the daily chart targeting two separate regions. One of them is targeting 17.5K, which of course would be a retest of the bottom, right? And a retest of the 300-week SMA, right? So that would, be, that, would, that would make a lot of sense. And then the second one is targeting... Uh, 13 or 11k right which is the the vague uh, support region we have here below the 17.5k region now knowing this and taking the four-year cycle into account which is the you know the the um uh, i guess you could say that date range trend i used to predict the top in 2021 and the date range trend i'm using to predict the bottom in 2022 uh taking that into account as a q4 bottom we can assume that the bottom will be at 17.5k at a double bottom or 11.5k to 13.8k in that vague support region at a, uh, a regular bottom in Q4. The bottom is going to be in Q4 and it's going to be at 17.5K or within this green box. That would be my prediction. Uh, and it's, so far we have nothing, uh, nothing actually is, is showing us that that's not the case. Nothing's invalidating that at this point. In fact, we've seen anything but invalidation. All we've seen is validation. For the first time in Bitcoin's entire price history ever, we've seen uh, rejections, right? Not only a drop below, but rejections from a 200 week SMA. That's never happened before. That's intense weakness. Even with this macro uptrending line, what we see is that typically it's just a wick. We just wick it once and then go away. Wick it once, go away. Wick it once, go away. Now we've actually seen like seven candles closing right on top of it, basically. Uh, and then finally a drop below. Even if we get back above it here, that's so weak. That's still a sign of weakness. Even if we come back above it five days, we close above it. Yeah, it's bullish short term. But that shows that, hey, this thing didn't hold like it used to. It struggled. It really struggled. Uh, and so... You know, it's really not illogical to be bearish here. Uh, macro bearish, right? Short term, you can be bullish. And I'll show you why in a second. But macro bearish, there's really no problem with that. In fact, it's definitely the logical position to take on Bitcoin, right? Now, what I will say is that the short term is a little bit more debatable. What we see for hourly chart, for example, is a bullish RSI divergence. We have a double bottom formation on 19.5K. 19.5K is actually uh, the 2017 all-time high as well. So we we'll, we'll close to it. Yeah, actually it actually is exactly. So... You know, we've got a lot of support on the on the shorter term. Double bottom, bullish RSI divergence, and retesting 17, 2017 all-time high and holding it quite well, right? So you can't really say the short term is overly bearish here. It's really not. I wouldn't recommend taking short positions while we're holding this level here. Uh, but I would say that, you know, this is probably an opportunity for Bitcoin uh, to actually come up and reject off of the bottom of the bear flag formation like that. And then, you know, actually come down again 
and, and drop below that that macro line once and for all going into September. I genuinely think uh, that you know we could go uh, quite a bit higher here in the short term. I think that we could actually stretch above the macro uptrend line, and like I said, I think we could actually stretch and retest that bear flag formation. You know, once we get above something like 21.9K, that's when I'd start to get a little bit skeptical for Bitcoin. That's when I'd start to think, okay, mm, maybe that drop below the macro line was, was a fake out, you know? 21.9K for me would be uh, the, the, the prime target in the short term. If we break that, that's when you can start getting a little bit, okay, yeah, okay, maybe this is, isn't actually as bearish as we think. Uh, however, at this point, you know, it's really just no no reason to believe it's anything but a short-term bounce, and it's no reason to believe it won't go higher, right? Because it probably will go higher at this point. Uh, now, look, uh, looking at things like, and, and this is the main part of the video that I wanted to get into that, that I haven't actually looked at before. Now, my camera might be covering part of this. I apologize for that. I'll make sure it doesn't uh, in a second. But essentially, what we have is a three-day chart on Bitcoin, and we've drawn a line at 34.41 on the RSI. Now, the interesting thing about 34.41 on the RSI is that every single time Bitcoin has dropped below 34.41 on the RSI, we have seen a massive sell-off, right? So let's get the, uh, let's get the um, what's it called? Let's get the uh, measurement tool up one second. Here we go. Uh, I forgot where it was for a second. Measurement tool. All right. So basically we dropped below it here in 2014. We saw roughly, again, r before we got back above it, let's say, we saw roughly 46%. This is very rough, but I'm just, I'm just showing you an example. So we dropped below it again in late 2014. We saw roughly 41%. Uh, so that's two 40% drops so, so far. We dropped below it again in 2018, right? And we saw roughly until the bottom, we saw 40% again. So these are three 40% drops. Uh, in 2020, during the COVID crash, we dropped below it around here and we saw a rough 49%. So that's four 40% drops, right? Uh, we dropped below it briefly here uh, in 2022, January, and we saw a 30%. And then we dropped below it here again, and we saw a 20%. And we dropped below it again here, and we saw a roughly uh, 40%. So that's like five or six 40% drops and two 30% drops, right? So every time we drop below this thing, man, oh man, it gets rough. It gets rough. There's no other way to say it. Uh, and we're coming, obviously, we're coming down to that level again, we'll probably be retesting it. Whether we drop below it or not will be interesting. Now, the interesting thing about it is that we will likely be retesting 34.41 on the RSI at the same time as we test the 17.5K bottom, right? Which leads me to believe that, hey, if we actually do test 17.5K, we have a lot of support and it actually really could be a double bottom formation. And if we're looking at uh, historical trends on Bitcoin, what we see is that generally speaking, when we come down for a bear market bottom, we do see double bottoms. Double bottoms are very, very likely, right? We see rounding bottom formations, which are basically double bottoms, right? So look, I think that it is relatively likely that Bitcoin bottoms out at 17.5K. Now, obviously a lot of this depends on the macro situation because technically speaking, in terms of technical analysis, it really would make sense for a 17.5K bottom. However, the only reason I have this lower target is the fact that, hey, we are in a recession. And, you know, if Bitcoin goes to 17.5K, but inflation is still sky high and rates are still skyrocketing, you know, like it doesn't really mean much. We're probably going to lose it. So I would say in terms of pure technical analysis alone, 17.5K really does seem like the bottom. Uh, but again, macro situation is a little bit unreliable and we do have to consider that lower targets are going to be there and going to be waiting for us and going to be available. But I think right now on Bitcoin, I think the takeaway from this video, if you're going to take away anything from it would be this. The short term, don't worry about it too much. The short term is probably going to be slightly bullish, uh, even if it's not cool. But the point is, Bullish divergence, double bottom formation of your hourly chart, uh, and you know, not, not really any reason why we shouldn't be bouncing uh, at least a little bit more here. If we get above 21.9K, that's when you start taking it seriously. Until that point, it's nothing. It's nothing. Uh, you know, I, I would suggest uh, you just you just take a chill pill there on the short term. Uh, and I think that, yeah, the macro trend at the moment is still targeting 17.5K. Uh, I don't see any reason why that won't be the case. I don't see any reason why we won't get there. I think even if the macro flips bullish, we will still test 17.5K. It just makes sense. It makes sense for us to do that. Uh, from, from every technical analysis I've done, it makes the most sense. Uh, and I will be buying there. I will be buying... Uh, in fact, I'll probably be buying at 18K, to be honest, just to be safe. Uh, I'm not going to wait until we go all the way down to 17. Uh, I'll probably be buying at 18K. Uh, I'll be buying around 50% of my allocated Bitcoin buy, and then I'll buy the other 50% either lower at the uh, green support box if we get there, or I buy the rest at the trend reversal higher, right? That's, that's kind of my game plan for Bitcoin. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and please stick around and watch a few things. Now, 
uh, BitGet Exchange, sign up to that, use my referral link, the VIP membership, uh, check my YouTube homepage and the Crypto Academy. I'm going to show you a few adverts for those now. Please stick around for those. If you're interested in becoming a VIP member with the Wolves of Crypto YouTube channel, you can go to my YouTube homepage and you can click on the join button. This will open up a tab that shows you all the perks you get for becoming a VIP. I'll quickly go through them now. There's four trading setups per week in spot and short positions, which is the main thing that people join for. Additionally, you've got prioritized reply to comments, meaning I will prioritize replying to your comments over people who are uh, the free subscribers, the free channel members, because obviously as the channel grows, there's going to be more and more comments. I'm not going to be able to get back to all of them. And so the VIP members, I will prioritize getting back to first. We've got a two hour lecture on market psychology, which many people have said to me is the most valuable video I have made. And then we've also got exclusive Telegram group access where you gain access to a Telegram group in which VIP members share charts and discuss trading strategies and ideas and the signals that I post into the VIP group as well. All of that is just 40 AUD a month, which works out to be around 28 USD a month. If you're looking for an exchange to use for cryptocurrency trading and you're sick of your current exchange, or you're just looking for a better exchange, I'd highly recommend you sign up to the BitGet exchange. There's many reasons for that. The first reason being it's non-KYC, which means it lines up with the fundamental values of cryptocurrency, decentralization on your end, which is perfect. It's also got five times lower fees than Binance, which is insanely cheap, which means you'll be saving a massive amount of money by tra uh, trading on this exchange, which of course is one of your main intentions. On top of that, so it's half the, it's, it's five times less fees than Binance, it's decentralized, and on top of that, not your keys, not your crypto, that's not really a massive problem with this exchange, because they've got a protection fund, which they've dedicated 6,000 Bitcoin and over 100 million US dollars into that protection fund in order to secure the funds of the users, meaning if something happens on the exchange, and you lose your funds, it's not guaranteed, but there's a very good chance that you'll be able to recover those funds through use of the exchange's protection fund. And the last thing as well is if you sign up using my referral link, which by the way would support the channel, I'd highly recommend you do that, uh, which you can find in the description below. If you sign up using my referral link, you can gain access to a reward center as well and gain access to over 4,000 USD in rewards by completing various tasks. So lastly, I'll just say it again, please sign up using my referral link, it takes five minutes and it helps out the channel a lot. Thanks guys. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to the Crypto Academy. This is a course developed by myself and Megawa Crypto. We're teaching people how to trade. Become a trader, a 10 unit course is like the title, a 10 unit course that teaches people how to become traders. We teach people how to analyze charts. We teach people how to take profitable trades, how to master TA, whatever it may be. You can go on the website and you can read a bit about this, but ultimately I'll give you a quick rundown. 10, 10 units, starting from fundamental cryptocurrency concepts, going through to technical analysis, going through to market patterns, indicators, candlestick formations, profitable mindsets and psychology, and then finally how to find trades. We've got about 450 slides, 80 videos, eight worksheets, and a trading diary, which means we're targeting all of the core uh, psychological groups of how to learn things, right? We've got visual learners, we've got verbal learners, we've got people who learn using practical skills like practice. You know, we've got many different things there. We're targeting all those groups. We've also done an extensive market analysis on what TA courses are currently available. And we can tell you right now, for the price you're paying for this course, and in general, this is the most extensive course you will find that finds all of the information relevant to teach you how to trade, gives you lifetime access after a one-time payment. So if you're interested in finding out more about the course, go ahead and email cryptoacademycourses at gmail.com and we'll get back to you with all the relevant information. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.